It could have come from the set of Star Wars, R2-D2, or remember Rosie from the Space Age Jetsons? But this robot is ushering in the 21st century of medicine. All of them. All the beds are filled. We actually have two empty with admissions coming in. It is the first robot in the world to make the rounds in a hospital intensive care unit. We know that, that when a crisis occurs in the intensive care unit, the outcome's invariably better if you can respond within a matter of minutes. He had this surgery to remove this abnormality in the brain yesterday. And we're going to check and see how he's doing up in the intensive care unit now. So let's log in and see. What we're doing now is enabling our physicians to respond to crises in the intensive okay, care unit here we are. Here we are. just as if they were standing at the bedside. Uh, through telemedicine, through robotic telemedicine. Doctors at UCLA teamed up with a company in Santa Barbara, California to create the robot called RP6, a revolutionary combination of robotics and telecommunications that uses the Internet. So, hi, Tim. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Good? Great. I've got a couple of quick tests for you. Let me see you, let me see you hold up both of your hands. Open and close your hands. Okay. That's good. All right. I want to see you hold both your hands in front of you, just like this. We're able to beam a person from anywhere to anywhere else in the world uh, that the Internet takes you to. For example, we've been able to beam people from, say, UCLA into Japan or into Europe or just down the street uh, because the Internet's uh, really everywhere. The doctors also designed a comprehensive patient information system, so this robot comes to the bedside okay. prepared. All right. Well, it looks, it looks like you're doing great as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let, me, let me talk to Dad here for a second. So I can simultaneously get the human view of what's going on at the bedside and look at all of the, the scientific and quantitative and medical data on the patient through the second screen. Talking to the doctor in terms of a robot, it, seemed like, it almost seemed like he's just right there as a normal person, except because of the... Um, the images on the screen. RP6 was originally designed at UCLA to combat a growing national shortage of intensivists, doctors who care for the critically ill. But for this robot, there's no telling what the future may bring in a world where science fiction is fast becoming more science than fiction. Uh, in military situations where there may be an advanced field hospital that doesn't have neurosurgeons and cardiac surgeons on site where these kind of specialists can interact with uh, the battle casualties right on the right on the spot in the future international space station the mission to mars i don't know but i think that this kind of this kind of ability to act and render care and make decisions at a remote location i think has a tremendous utility in the future Thank you.